Many patients come to you suffering pain, some for quite a long time. What does pain indicate? That's a very good question. I'm glad you asked that. Pain is probably one of the most common things that any doctor will send a patient for a, a neurosurgeon to see. The most common area of pain that we neurosurgeons treat is pain in the lower back. That can range from a number of reasons. Most of them, fortunately, do not require any intensive treatment. In a rare case, though, some back pain can have very serious implications, and that's the main reason why a neurosurgeon should assess these patients. When a patient comes to you for diagnosis or treatment, what are some of the more common procedures that uh, you find that you have to do with them? When a patient comes to my office, usually a doctor will already have prescribed tests. And let's go with the most common thing, back pain. If I see someone with back pain, the first thing I would look at is to see whether or not they have an MRI or a CAT scan of their back. The first thing I would look for is to see if there are any signs of danger. Very often, a lot of the pain that I see is pain from arthritis as people get older. But the dangerous things that I would look for are issues related to nerves being compressed. We can see that on x-ray, but more importantly, when we examine the patient, if we detect injury to the nerve, pain going down one leg, anything that would affect the hips on down, then we are a little bit more worried about that patient. We may send them for more tests. We may actually consider sending them for more electrical tests to see if their nerves are impaired. But we would never jump to surgery right away unless we saw some very severe warning signs. When a patient has to have surgery, what are some of the more common procedures that you as a surgeon will perform? That depends a lot on a patient's age. Some of the patients that we see who require surgery are usually sent to see us because of an accident at work or something traumatic happens to them, something very sudden. And that usually is caused by a shift or a change in the patient's spine. The most common diagnosis that does that in which a neurosurgeon will have to operate is something called a herniated lumbar disc. And a herniated lumbar disc, a piece of the disc, which is the rubbery part between the bones, cracks. When it cracks, it can sometimes squeeze on the nerve. With those patients, they will experience severe pain, not only in their back, but going down their leg. Most of the time, thankfully, we do not have to operate on them. However, if the pain persists or if there is a severe problem with the nerve, for example, if there is weakness, numbness, or pain that just does not go away, we have to do surgery called a lumbar discectomy. We have the resources at our hospital that we can do the surgery under an almost minimally invasive procedure. Minimally invasive means without the usual procedure that would lose a lot of blood or make a large incision. We make a very small cut in the skin, we take a microscope, go down to the nerve, find the nerve, and pluck the disc out. That surgery is so simple that for the most part, people will go home the same day or the day after. And the recovery is relatively quick, anywhere from two weeks to three months, depending on how heavy a patient is or how many medical problems that they have. But that is probably the most common thing that we would see in a young person. And what are some of the reasons why an older person might seek treatment from a neurosurgeon? For someone who is older, the surgery that we encounter most is due to arthritis. People who have arthritis tend to have bone spurs that form in their spine, and it can squeeze their nerves. And what we do in that situation, we actually physically remove the bone that is squeezing the nerve. Once again, it's a relatively simple procedure, and we have technology that will reduce the amount of blood loss and reduce the amount of pain that can occur. But that surgery generally will accomplish both pain relief and removal of pressure on the nerve to the point where someone is able to walk longer and stand straighter.